So hello there, welcome to Damien's Trains and Travels and welcome to the review and this is a review on Troublesome Truck 6 uh, which is also known as the oil tanker and as you probably saw if you watch my videos fairly regularly or you may remember I actually got this one for Christmas and last month I actually took it down to Wellingborough Museum as well and had it running on their model railway layout as I also mentioned in the video that I did on the Batman Ryan as well and this tanker is based upon one of the oil tankers that was in the CGI television series Thomas the Tank Engine. Um, obviously CGI you probably know stands for computer generated imagery and the show has been like that since 2009 and before that obviously as you know the show was made using models and there were various tankers that were seen in the background from series one onwards and some of the tankers um, didn't have any writing on the side they were just plain um, so a little bit like this one but like I said this one's based upon what it looked like during the CGI animated series although the one in the CGI animated series is a lot more weathered uh, this one isn't which I'm sort of glad about because I'm not as keen on weathered uh, rolling stock or just weathered locomotives in general to be honest so it's quite immaculate and uh, again I think they've done quite a nice job of the face and again in the railway series some of the tankers did have faces on them, although a bit like the troublesome trucks in series one, um, the eyes and mouths are just added onto the bodies. Uh, again, same with a lot of the trucks in the railway series, um, but also they had face masks uh, from series two onwards, which were like different face masks with different facial, facial expressions. And the tankers in the TV series originally never used to have faces on them. Um, however, in Series 4, they did, and the faces that were actually used on them were the ones used on the narrow-gauge trucks that the narrow-gauge engines pulled. So, and obviously they had to be quite small because there wasn't very much space to get them onto the body of the tankers. So, I say, not much room. And again, the characters like the slip coaches and Caroline the car have just had eyes and mouths that are added onto their bodies and not got separate face masks. So like I said, a lot of the tankers, um, not really main characters, but were seen in the background of episode Thomas Tank Engine in the TV series. And so obviously as well, you had like the milk ones that said milk on the side, or the fuel ones and the tar ones that said like fuel and tar on the side. Um, but like I said, there was some plain ones as well. And again, from the CGI animated series onwards, when the tankers, because the tankers went on to appear in the CGI animated series, a lot of them just had logos, uh, not lettering painted on the side, although the tar wagons did come back with tar written on the side of them like they did originally in the television series, which I thought was quite nice. And uh, personally, I mean, I've been to a lot of preserved railways, as you know, over the years, and there's also, not as well as obviously locomotives being preserved, there's rolling stock that's been preserved as well. Uh, and in general, the rolling stock, I mean, the tankers tends to have uh, lettering um, rather than a logo on the side, although obviously some do have logos on as well. And they do a lot of preserved railways, that I've, obviously, again, a lot of the ones I've been to. They obviously restore the rolling stock and have them running on freight trains, so you get to see a variety of different uh, wagons and that. And also, like I say, you've got some tankers that have four wheels, like this one here, but then you have got other ones that have six wheels as well. Um, and like I said, in some ways, I think for me, going, definitely going to preserve railways and filming um, actual live uh, steam locomotives, you know, for me, I prefer doing videos like that than I do to doing ones on model ones. Although obviously I still do enjoy doing the model ones, don't get me wrong, obviously if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it at all. But I prefer going to preserve railways and seeing the real thing.
Um, so again, moving back onto this one, like I said, it has a face on it. Uh, and also, I went to Drayton Manor a few years ago, and at Drayton Manor they have some of the models, and the exhibition's actually being refurbished at the moment, but they had some models uh, from the Thomas Tank and your television se series and various props that were used in the TV series in the background. And a lot of the tankers, um, there was one couple behind Daisy, the diesel rail car, with a face on it, again from the TV series. And, um, you know, it's, it's really nice to be able to see them from the television series there and it's nice that they've got the faces added on to them and I think definitely it's nice to see trucks with faces on them uh, and again sometimes in the railway series you saw tankers and trucks without faces on them as well and there was, again there were six wheeled ones there like I said this one's got four wheels I have the tankers in the Hornby range as well um, and in some ways I actually prefer these to the one here uh, obviously, if you look at this photo here, again, this was at the well, Wellington Museum last month, um, you can see the purple one in front of the Hornby ones. And obviously with Hornby, they're double O scale, whereas Mackman is HO scale, and they both run on the same double O track, but HO is a little bit smaller. And when you see them running around together, you can see, you know, you can tell the different size-wise, which I think is a little bit of a letdown. It's a shame they weren't all the same. Uh, and as I said before, I think with Hornby, a lot of their locomotives, like, um, I don't know, Henry, for example, was more based upon what he looked like during the uh, railway series rather than what he looked like in the television series. But I think definitely with the tankers they did in Hornby, they were more based upon what they looked like during the television series. Uh, and obviously the same with this back one, but obviously for the CGI animated series. And I do think that the... Um, Hornby ones uh, personally are a lot lot better uh, and again as I said earlier this back one uh, doesn't have any writing on the side although like I said uh, a lot of them obviously did and like I said in the CGI animated series a lot of the tankers looked a lot different because they just had logos on the side of them but in the TV series during series 8 there was obviously the cream tankers and the raspberry syrup tankers uh, the Thomas is seen pulling and the cream tankers actually went on to appear in the CGI animated series um, and they just like I said they they were the only ones really that had a logo on the side that appeared I mean obviously in both the model series and the CGI series um, and I did really like them ones and I have got them ones as well uh, in Hornby you've probably seen other videos that I've done and again obviously you had like ones like the Sodal Mail Van which had lettering on the side and although the Sodal Mail van looked different in the CDI series, it still said Sodal Mail on the side. And, and again, with the Mail trucks, uh, they used to say Sodal Mail on the side. In the CGI animated series, they had a logo on instead, with like a letter on the side of them that you post. Uh, that sort of letter. But so I do really like this model. Uh, and also, obviously, I meant to do this video a little while ago, um, but this month is actually 10 years since I brought my first ever uh, Backman model. Uh, the first ones I brought were Bill and Ben, and you can see in this video here of mine, I did a model railway exhibition at Rushden, and on the first day there was a stall there, and it was Tootley Thomas, and you, if you look for Tootley Thomas, I have mentioned them in other videos, uh, they had a stall at the Rushden model weekend, and I brought Bill and Ben there on the first day, so they were the first ones I got, like I said, that was 10 years ago. And then the following day, I actually went, the stall was there, because it was obviously the, I was actually running an exhibit there, as you can see in this video of mine. And the following day, I went back, and I got myself Donald and Douglas, and Salty as well. And they were, say, they were the first Backman ones I brought, because obviously I said there was Hornby and Backman. And then the following year, I got Toby as well. And um, I preferred Bill and Ben, definitely in the Backman range, because I think scale-wise, they were a lot better. And also 10 years ago, they actually came back to the show. They'd been absent for a number of years, but they came back to the CGI animated series and they were a little bit different because they had red wheels instead of black wheels. And I think I preferred them with black wheels to red wheels, but nevertheless, I still think they look quite nice. And as I said, I took this tanker down to Wellingbury Museum where I ran a number of my trains. And uh, you can see here it runs very well indeed. Um, and what you one thing that you can do is you can put a truck in between both like the Hornby tankers and the Batman tankers to disguise the size a bit. I think that does sort of help. But they do run really well as you can see here as well. 
you may have noticed as well in that video of mine from when I brought a museum the other month that there was also another tanker that I got in the back and range, which was a couple behind Edward. And obviously a couple between Edward's tender and the coaches, and that was based upon a YouTube video uh, that someone made called Edward's Fun Run. And the water was the tanker was there to give Edward more water as he was doing a non-stop run. And so I made a reference to that, as you can probably see. So that was the run down at Wellingborough Museum. And uh, another thing as well is I often get people comment on my videos that I've done on reviews and things like that, saying that they prefer Backman or they prefer Hornby. And uh, for me, it's a mixture of both. I mean, you've got to remember as well, with Hornby, uh, they did characters like Murdoch, who's probably one of my more favourite ones uh, that Backman didn't do, and obviously in Backman as well. Obviously, I'm slowly getting into getting the G-scale ones as well, and they've got Winston and that. Again, Winston wasn't in uh, Hornby. And um, I think as well, I've said probably before, I think I prefer, I have only got Spencer in the Hornby range, I haven't got in the back one range, but I prefer the Hornby one over the back one, one personally, uh, despite some of the colours not being quite accurate. So, um, yeah, so for me, it's sort of mixed reviews. Uh, and again, uh, as I said earlier, the tankers in Series 4 had faces on them in some episodes. And uh, it wasn't again until Journey Beyond Sodor when they were actually seen with faces on them again. And uh, you probably saw they were part of the goods train that Henry was pulling originally, but obviously Henry went and had an accident. And uh, obviously James was meant to take the train, but Thomas uh, ended up taking it instead. Obviously, you've probably seen Journey Beyond Sodor, I imagine. But moving back onto this truck, uh, if I had to give it a score... I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10, because for me, I'm not sure um, size-wise if it's um, you know quite right compared to the others. Obviously, I think that obviously there's the fact that obviously Backman do HO and Hornby did double O. But obviously in the TV series, they looked to, uh, obviously when it was 
in the CGI animated series, it was actually in scale with all the other tankers, as far as I could see. But I do think it's a nice model, and it's, I think it's nice that they've actually finally created a uh, tanker that actually has a face on it. And uh, as well as, like I said, as well as the actual trucks, um, the worm tankers have a face on them. It is nice that the vans have faces on them as well. Um, gives them a lot more sort of character. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, until next time, goodbye, and thanks for watching.